What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. We are Megan and Matt and we are on an Alaskan journey, but that journey is coming to an end. But we have one little adventure left and that's to drive to Haines and Skagway in Alaska, but you can only get there if you cross the Canadian border. Unless you take a ferry. The ferries are very expensive, especially when you're carrying a big van. And in this video, we are going to cross the border three times on our way out of Alaska, plus we're going to take one ferry. I'm brewing a pot of coffee because we have a long drive today. We are trying to get to Haines from Talk tonight. And that's about an eight hour drive. This is the US and this is Canada. Let's head to the Yukon, eh? Yukon, larger than life. We just pulled into the Alaskan-Canada border. We are about to cross right now. If you guys watched our first entry into Canada on our way to Alaska, you'll know that we didn't have a great experience. I'm hoping that this one goes a little bit smoother, especially since we're just crossing on our way to Haines. We've got our passports ready. We're ready to enter the great country of Canada. I'm trying to suck up to Canada right now so that they let us in without a problem. Where do you both live? Connecticut. What are you doing in Alaska? Uh, just visiting. Mm -hmm. Are you guys like bloggers? Yeah. What's your channel? Uh, Megan and Matt. Okay. Is it like travel videos? What kind of content? Yeah, yeah. travel videos. Okay. Where are you guys headed now? Uh, we're headed to Haines, Alaska. Okay. Well, good to go. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. So I'm excited. That went way better than I thought it would. And I'm ready to go and get to Haines. And we are officially off the Alaskan Highway, which I'm really excited about because Matt's a little more ballsy this time around. And we're just wiggling and woggling everywhere. It's like a roller coaster. I'm not complaining, I'd rather just get there. And that's when we saw him, a huge grizzly bear on the side of the road. Oh, holy crap. Oh, we saw a bear. He's hiding. Can you get him away? recently talking about how we got to Alaska and we haven't really seen bears that much. We come back to the Yukon and we see one right away. My expectation when we got to Alaska is that we would see bears everywhere on every trail, every hike, by every river. And where we're headed now is actually a really popping spot for bears. So I'm sure we're going to be showing you guys a lot of wildlife. And I hope I didn't just jinx us. So. I'm gonna knock on wood. Little did we know we were just getting started. By the end of this video, we will have seen eight bears total. How long have you been in Canada? Just the day we passed in from Alaska. Firewood? No. Weapons? No. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Easy peasy. American and Alaska borders? I think it's because we have an American passport. After a nine to eight hour drive day, we're ready for bed. Haynes already looks pretty beautiful. I mean, it's so mountainous. I'm not sure we're gonna have a lot to do here, but we'll find out tomorrow. Good morning, we are in Haynes and we've been here for a few days and we're ready to take the ferry over to Skagway. But first, I gotta catch you up on what Haynes is like. But first, coffee. It's, not it's really bad. It's bad. <laughs> Ugh. How could coffee be that bad? Everything in Haynes is extremely limited, especially the grocery store, which is really small. We spent $60 on like four days worth of groceries, and that is barely anything that we're actually going to be able to eat. It includes like three ramen packets, a pack of bacon, some cottage cheese, a <laughs> bag of coffee. And the coffee, the first cup I had this morning, my first sip, I was like, oh no. Oh no. It's not that good. 
Haynes is a very scenic town. Everywhere you look, there are mountains. There's a beautiful bay where we're going to be launching a ferry out of, taking the van for our very first boat ride. It's a pretty beautiful place. So many things to see. We've seen so much wildlife. The eagles here are so beautiful, and there's so many of them. There's even an eagle preserve that every winter, literally thousands of eagles fly there every year because there's a constant food supply source because the river there does not freeze. So they have tons of salmon to feed on. We took a trip up there, but we didn't see any eagles because it was a little too early. They get there by mid-October usually, and it is the end of August. So I'm just looking around. There's lots of trees nearby. No spruce, but lots of cottonwoods. And um, I don't see any eagle's nests or any eagles or anything that interesting. Kind of just along the side of a highway. We went to a state park just outside Haines and saw tons of bald eagles, bears, bear cubs. It's really an awesome place to see lots of wildlife up close. While there are so many things to see in Haines when you go into the outskirts, there's not much to do in the town. We did go to a local restaurant. We're at the Lighthouse restaurant. I got fish and chips with halibut and red snapper. Of course, I got that amber beer. I've been drinking this whole trip. Good texture, good bounce. Tartar sauce, pretty decent. We went to Haines Brewing Company as well. Having a couple of beers. Haines is pretty chill. Like, very, like, chill. Flat wine chill. Wow, you can't be a five dollar craft beer. Goodness, I can't talk this morning. This coffee's so bad. Today's Saturday, and there's a farmers market in town. We're gonna go check it out. Funny story, we actually have no idea where the farmer's market is, but since our coffee was absolute trash, I had to dump it out. It was so bad. Oh, you dumped it? I tried to save it. I added some sweetener. I added some oat milk. It was horrible. Anyways, we're going to get some coffee and buy it because I need some coffee. So we're going to go in and get a coffee and see if they can tell us where the farmer's market is. times better than what we had in the van. 10 times better. We got insider information that the farmer's market is at the fairground, so we're gonna head there right now. Who walks in when I walk in? Who hands you that high thing? Who's that? Who be telling you? Now who walks in when I walk in? Don't you know that you're my So we're gonna go check out this little old towny looking western village. This town here is actually the Disney movie set from that movie, White Fang, which came out in 1989, in 1990. Go on, get. That was Old Yeller, babe. Go on, get. That was Old Yeller. It's also White Fang. Is it? Yeah. I don't remember, I never saw the movie. Okay. There's also a community garden out here. It's actually very gorgeous. I love gardening. I wish, I wish that I can garden more. That's something that I miss living in a van, gardening. I really miss gardening. Let's go. Jennifer and David, if you guys are watching, thank you so much for the honey. We can't wait to try it. Now we're headed down to the ferry docks because we gotta board the boat. Boats, boats, boats. But we took a detour because we had to try one more time to see more bears. And Chilkoot Lake did not disappoint.
while everyone was out looking at the bears that were on the weir, I kind of had this feeling that there would be a bear that came from behind us. And sure enough, as we were standing there and everyone was taking their pictures, the mama bear, Lulu, and her kids, Hulu and Zulu, all of a sudden, that family just showed up right behind us and I was within eight feet of it and it was way too close for my comfort. So I got out of there and somehow everyone else decided, hey, let's just get closer to it. Idiots. It was incredible being that close to a bear and it was also very terrifying. I don't recommend going out of your way to do it, but if it happens, um, just stay calm. And uh, it's really genuinely hard to stay calm when you're that close to a bear with her cubs. A bunch of us were just asking a ranger a bunch of questions about like when they come, when the best time is to watch, and late around dinner time or early in the morning is when they come out to the weir because it's an easy place to catch fish, especially during a run. It's kind of really funny and amazing that we're here because we were just talking about how we've been to Alaska and we expected to see so many bears, but we haven't seen any bears except one, and we come to this weir and all of a sudden we see seven in one day. It's really incredible. I'm thinking whenever the salmon runs happen, go to near a weir and you will find a bear. We made it to the terminal and we have to go inside to figure out which lane we have to drive into to get on the ferry. I purchased the tickets online. It costs about $95 for the van to move across. It came out to 163 I believe, which is not bad. Let's go check in check it out Megan and Matt. yes okay. lane number seven. we're parking in lucky number seven lower left yeah yep boarding passes let's go let's hit it yeah and now we wait they didn't exactly tell us how far in advance we should come to the ferry terminal. So we came like an hour and a half early and now we're just gonna wait until they usher us onto the ferry. But while we wait, I think we're gonna play a little game. The rules of the game is we have to explain our entire trip in Alaska in an elevator pitch one minute. That's all, it's not really a game. No one loses or wins. But you guys can decide down below who wins and did a better description. So I'm gonna just rip off the top of my head right now and let's go. Ready, set, timer start, and we need a timer. Two, one, go. After four days on the Alaskan highway, we decided it was a good idea to go up to Fairbanks to get some mail, but the wildfires were there and Fairbanks sucks. So we decided to book it back down and went to Valdez. It was absolutely beautiful. There were tons of eagles and sea lions and sea otters and all the most beautiful, epic surrounding landscapes. From there, we went to Wasilla. We did a house sit for a little bit, got COVID, that sucked. We went to Girdwood, spent a little time there. Then Megan got really sick, so we ended up just not doing anything. Spent a few days in Saldana, I caught my first fish, which is epic. Then we went to Homer, saw some awesome stuff, ate some really good food. And then after that, we booked it all the way across the Kenai Peninsula to Seward. And we spent a few days in Seward. It rained a ton, but we had some absolutely epic times, including Marathon Mountain and the Kenai Fjords Glacier Tours. We also hiked Exit Glacier. And then from there, we drove all the way to McCarthy, where we saw Exit Glacier, or sorry, we saw Root Glacier. And then from there, we went into an epic glacier bath. And then after that, we drove to, uh, where are we? Uh, Haynes, and we saw tons of wildlife and bears here, and now we are headed to Skagway. Wow, baby! Oh, that was and it? And done. Nice. Whew. You practiced. No, I didn't. I, yeah. No, I didn't. No, I really, I promised I did not practice. I was just kind of thinking. Sometimes my brain works optimally when I have the right amount of caffeine, and I had our one and a half cup of crap coffee, and then a regular cup of good coffee at the place over there and I saw some bears and some eagles so that really gets my adrenaline going clears my mind clears the tubes if you know what I mean and uh here we go I don't know how I'm gonna beat that Whew. all right now I'm like hot okay <laughs> what am I gonna do okay two one go we arrived in Alaska and went to Fairbanks when we went to Fairbanks it was like really smoky so we decided to go to Delta Junction and Delta Junction was okay but we did a hike where Matt broke his finger on ice so we decided to keep on going Valdez is beautiful we saw some sea lions oh, oh, oh. and um wow Matt just did such a good job okay we saw sea lions and then I got COVID when we drove back up to Anchorage Anchorage really okay like really okay we wanted to go to Whittier 
and Girdwood, but I got COVID, so we decided to go to Soldatna, where I laid in bed while Matt fished, and then we went to Homer, it's cool, it has a swing, and then we went to Seward, where we went to the Kenai Forest uh, National Park, and it was amazing, we went on a, like a, we had crab cakes and we went on a dinner cruise and then we went up to McCarthy, went on Root Glacier, we hiked on that, we jumped into a pool and then we drove up to talk, took a shower and then now we're here in Haines. Nice <sighs> job, you had about two seconds to spare. <laughs> mine sucked. I might be a little biased but I think mine was a little bit better. My, yeah, mine was not as good as yours. Mine said, oh my god, Matt did better. <laughs> well. It looks like we had a little bit of cloud break and now we've got rain. All right. All right. So Thank you. Thanks so much. We're going on a ship to our favorite rocket ship. Matanuska. I am very excited. Although it is quite rainy. It's supposed to be a beautiful ride over to Skagway and we might not get to see the full of it, but it's okay. The purpose is to get over to Skagway without having to drive back into Canada, back into the U.S., and then back out of Canada again. All right, let's get on the ferry. We're not able to get back in the van once we leave it, so grabbed everything. The stairwell reminds me of Star Wars. Honestly, no one's really given us directions, so we're kind of roaming the boat figuring out where to go. Cafeteria was a bus. They were like, uh, you gotta order food. So we're out here where the life rafts are, and I guess we're just gonna take a walk around to see where we wanna, I guess, sit. All right, we're moving. So we are in the front of the boat. There's a lounge just right behind us that we didn't know existed until we walked all the way up here. But we're gonna spend our time in there because the weather is, it's okay. But we can still see some beautiful, beautiful mountains. So I'm guessing this ride is gonna be freaking gorgeous. This is the main lounge. It's first come, first serve. This is where you can watch the voyage from a seat. I actually don't like sitting on boats because it makes me more nauseous, but I did take some jam with me. It's giving me a little heartburn. I think that's from the ginger. Have you ever been on a cruise? No. All right, let's go on a cruise, Megan. What do you think? I've never been on a cruise before. It's really cool to see how big these boats are. They're huge. I mean, I'm looking and I'm seeing the balconies and it's like, they're like ants. I saw an infographic years ago about how big the Titanic was for its time. And then the Titanic compared to just regular cruise ships nowadays, it's pretty impressive how big these ships are. And that's not even a big one. See that big landslide behind me? That happened earlier this month. Let's go head down to the van. It started to rain pretty heavily when we got here, so. It's raining, it's pouring. My hat is drenched. It's okay, because we have our van and we have some shelter, so I'm grateful. Once again, we have a red in Skagway. Back at the van, now let's get some seafood. Let's go to Skagway. There are three cruise ships here, so it might be packed everywhere we go. So we're gonna try because mama's hungry. <laughs> I can't hit those nuts. I'm excited to eat some seafood. As if we haven't had enough in Alaska, 
we're really trying to stock up because this entire last year of traveling we've had so little in the lower 48 a lot of the places were also kind of not really near the water so i'm not going to really trust seafood that's been flown in when you can have such accessible spots by the van closer to the shore cheers i'm gonna miss this alaskan amber i've been drinking it since the first day we got here and it's probably our last day, maybe our second to last day, so bottoms up, I guess, right? I haven't had wine in a while. We've been drinking a lot of beer and going to local breweries. First wine in like months. Chardonnay, yay. <laughs> I just ordered a king crab bisque. Well, first of all, look how cute it is. It's like semi-sweet, it's creamy, it's bisky, it's amazing. I, this is very good. It's salty, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's bisky. Man, that's delicious. Holy crap. It's the best thing I've ever had. It's the second best thing I've ever put in my mouth. This is the end of our Alaskan trip and we really wanted to end it with a bang. So we're sparing no expense. We balled out and got king crab legs and fish and chips, which we've ordered many times in Alaska, but you gotta go out with a classic, you know? It's lightly battered, the fish is so fresh, and fish and chips are only as good as its tartar sauce, and this tartar sauce is yummy. I don't think I've ever eaten so much fish and chips in my entire life since I came to Alaska. And I have to say, this is one of the better ones. It's super light and fluffy and the batter is like not super battery, if that makes sense. It really gives out the flavor of the fish. This might be the second best fish and chips we've had, but maybe the best tartar sauce since being in Alaska. Mmm, that's incredible. I think everything about this restaurant, the food, the service, the ambiance, the vibe, everything, I think this might be the best place we've eaten at in Alaska. We saved the best for last. I'm gonna have to agree, this is a great way to end our trip. Uh, amazing! Look how big this thing is. Wow, Skagway Fish Company, probably the best restaurant we've been to in Alaska and eaten at a lot of restaurants. If you guys are ready for that food tour that we mentioned earlier in our road trip, you're gonna love it. Subscribe. <laughs> you got some work to do. First impressions of Skagway, it's, well, it's raining. That's why I look like a Human condam. Skagway, first impressions. A lot more to do than Haynes. A lot more to do, for sure. I think we're gonna have a blast here. A B-L-A-S-T. All right, we're gonna find a place to sleep for tonight. It is pouring rain, so we're gonna check out Skagway, the downtown area, tomorrow. So GPS led us astray. I thought we were going to a campsite and turns out we accidentally crossed out of the US, but I just turned around. We didn't go into Canada technically, but now we have to go back through customs. Hey there, how are you? Good. We just crossed. Yeah, we just crossed. I didn't realize that the border was right here, but. You got solar up there? Yeah. There's a little tiny home off grid. I want to see it, so get ready. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm jealous. One, hey, day when be I, here one, one day when I <laughs> one day when I grow up. Very cool. All right, brother. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> CBP Skagway. Nice. Right <laughs> All right. All right. So Officer Velez, you are the bomb. <laughs> he didn't even like inspect our van to like inspect it. He just wanted to see our van because he's in the market for one. What a guy. This is our last day in Alaska. We're gonna show you around Skagway and then we're gonna leave. This is. Oh, it's bittersweet. Skagway is a really cool old town. You can tell how old-timey it is. A lot of these saloons were once brothels, and uh, there's so much history here. The number one thing to do if you're in Skagway is to take the train on the White Pass Yukon route, but since we're driving that route, we're not gonna do that, but if you're here on a cruise, that's probably the best thing to do. We didn't realize that Skagway was such a cruise destination until we saw a cruise ship every two hours just coming through. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a nice town and it's it's beautiful. So I haven't eaten anything all day, but I am fueled by a 16 ounce espresso from the Glacial Coffee House and I'm fired up. I don't even think I need to think about food for at least another four hours. I'm dying for a pretzel. Get some pretzels. So we're getting pizza, which is Allie, the owner's 
favorite recommendation, the salted, which is their classic go-to, and a jalapeno cheddar, which is our favorite flavor to try. Caramel sauce for a little sweet and salty kind of contrast. There you go. Yeah. Wow. This is a perfect combo. Salty, sweet, jalapeno cheddar, our first gourmet. It's exactly what you want from what you ordered. It's so good. Plus we got this beer cheese and it just makes it cheesier and saltier. Mm. All right, last but not least is the pizza one, which looks delicious. It's got a whole layer of cheese on top. I'm excited to try this one. Oh, look at that cheese bowl. This is exactly like you expect it would. Pizza on a pretzel. Good seasonings. The sauce is pretty nice. Nice and hot. What a great, great pretzel. Thank you so much, Allie. We hope that your son starts that YouTube channel pretty soon and becomes a millionaire. Skagway has a big history of brothels, including a brothel museum that they have open today. And a lot of the places here are named in kind of a sexual innuendo kind of thing. Like behind me is the Happy Ending Saloon. And next to that is the Morningwood Hotel erected in 2006. So it's kind of a little funny thing that this whole town has going on. They've got another building called the Peep Show. This is good fun. That big piece of machinery is actually a plow. It snows a lot here. And basically what they have to do is clear the railroad and that guy plows all that snow. It's kind of really cool. All right, let's head back to the van, which is over here. This is the entire town of Skagway. Just that. Which is no different than any other small town in Alaska. Alaska's full of small towns that you can walk up and down in like 30 minutes. If you're here on a cruise, there's a lot to do and this town is made for it. So I know you guys wanna know what we're doing next, but first, we gotta get out of here. Uh, we're driving back down to the lower 48. Okay, how long do you think it's going to take you to get there? Uh, we're going to plan to do some camping on the way down and checking out some parks in Vancouver, so a little less than a month. Okay. All right, you guys are all good to go. All right, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. You too. All right, we crossed with no problems at all. I told them exactly what we're going to be doing, and they just let us on through. Honestly, that's what we should have done in the first place when we crossed the first time and had a little bit of trouble. But now we know. Canada just wants straight and short answers. <laughs> After three days and 20 hours of driving, we finally made it to BC, Canada. We are currently in Prince George. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so you're probably wondering what we're doing next because Alaska was our big summer trip. We're on an ongoing road trip. So if you think that our road trip ends in Alaska, that is so not true because there's so much exploring we have to do. This includes a bunch of places in the Vancouver area. We're gonna travel the PNW, which we're really excited before because we've never been. And we're gonna drive down the California coast. California, <laughs> the California, California. California. The California coast. And then we're gonna be spending the winter in Baja. That's gonna be really exciting. So if you have any recommendations for us of what we should do in the PNW, like from Vancouver down to Oregon, drop them in the comments or send us an email and we'd love to hear what you guys have to suggest. It's been real Alaska. Thank you so much for watching our Alaska road trip. This is how many miles we accumulated in this video alone. If you haven't watched our series, we're going to put the playlist up on the left and make sure you're subscribed because we have so much more exploring to do.